Hey there, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see together how I managed to create a MATLAB and Simulink 3D simulation of a pick and a place robotic arm. So the first thing that should be done is to organize the Simulink model of the entire project. And as we can see here, we have the different elements such as the tables, the, the, the convoyer build and um, this, the, the trajectory, which presenting the waypoints of the end effector and so on. Okay, so as I said, the first thing is to organize the Simulink model and more specifically, and the most important is the Simulink model of the robotic arm. Okay, so as we can see here, we have the different joints and with different links of the same robotic arm. Okay, so for example, we have this, um, this link I think it's the link number two, okay, and so on, okay. So we need to well set up the robotic arm uh, as um, blocks, okay, and of course we need to organize the, the inputs, okay, the gates that we will use to control the robotic arm for each joint, okay, as we can see here. As a second step, we need to well install the product and we need to finish the setup before we run any specific script or algorithm and we mean by that we need specifically to focus on the paths so as we can see we have different folders and many data from many folders will be used in order to run the entire project okay all the entire simulation so in this script which is the setup we are taking all the folders paths okay and we are adding them to the matlab okay so any file in the folders or any subfolder in that specific folders will be known in matlab level okay okay cool now let's get started with the control part all the kinematics the forward and the inverse kinematics analysis and so on okay so in order to control the robot we need more specifically in the inverse kinematics part we need to define the dh parameters of the robot okay and this is what we have done in this section so in the first section so we just define the dh parameters of the robot okay and of course we need to create a serial link robot using the robotic toolbox by Peter Cork. So, so let's run the first section to see the results. After defining the age parameters of the robot, now we can control the robot. And the first type of control is the forward kinematics. And we mean by that we want just or simply move the robot from one configuration to another configuration okay and for example we can move the robot from the zero position where all the joints are at zero degrees and to another configuration let's take for example the qr which is defined by the following let's say joint angles okay so we can run the uh, so first of all we are going to create let's say signals between the first configuration and the second one and after that we can run the simulation to see how the robot acts okay so this is as a MATLAB level and now we will see as a 3D or Simulink level And this is the final simulation. So as we can see, the robot is moving from the zero configuration to the new configuration with that specific joint angles. After that, we can move to the next level of control, which we call the inverse kinematics control. Okay. And at this level, we want from the robot to move from specific point to another specific point exactly in the space. Knowing the coordinates of the points, 
we want to control the robot to or to compute the necessary joints to make the robot moves like smoothly to reach that specific point. So we have the first point which is defined by these coordinates, the x, y, and z, and the second point, and we just want as a simple trajectory, a straight line between them with the 20 points. So we use ctrash command to create this uh, straight line between two points with that specific number of points and so on, okay? And I think we can see the trajectory together, okay? Okay, so this is the straight line, okay, as we can see it in blue. And this is the robot moving from the first point to the second point. So this is as a MATLAB level, okay, it's just a um, joint based model. And we will see it as well in 3D using Simulink. So we are moving from the first point to the second point as a straight line. So it's just a basic example, just to explain the the, the inverse kinematics, um, let's say, approach. In the same way, we can create an, uh, any different kind of trajectories, okay? So for example, here in this example, we are creating circular trajectory. So we have all the x, y, and z points. Now we want to compute or to know the necessary joints, the six joints, okay, responsible to make the robot reach that specific points in the trajectory, okay? So that's why we are using each time for each point in the trajectory, we are calling the inverse kinematics to reach that specific point. So, and so on until we create the, 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 we create the signals, all the, the, the joint signals responsible of the robot control, okay? So this is the MATLAB um, 3D, let's say, simulation, just a joint based model. And this is the simulation in Simulink Simscape. So, um, so that's the circle trajectory you can find also, you can run also elliptical and the robot also on elliptical trajectory and you can test it, it's working 100%. So you will find all the joints in all the link, all the files in the description. So, and if you have any problem, you can just ask me anytime, you can contact me. Okay, um, another thing you can also test the Jacobian, you can compute the Jacobian matrix and more specifically the determinant of the Jacobian matrix to know if there, there is a singularity in that specific configuration or not. Um, you can perform the dynamics analysis such as the forward and the inverse dynamics and so on. Okay, so this is the kinematics dynamics analysis part. Okay, and now we will run together the um, the the final simulation of the pick and the place.